I want you to remember that I have 618,000 coins. I have been doing bronze pack for the last half an hour and have made about 20 to 30,000 coins from just opening up bronze packs. And just to show you here, here is a load of bronze players that we've managed to get. Plus, we are selling a few more as our coins keep going up. So just remember the number I said at the start. So bronze pack method, does it work or does it not work? I know you're immediately thinking, well, you've just showed me how many cards you've sold and it does work. It honestly depends when you are looking. So the way I like to figure it out is we go to Bronze Rare on the transfer market and we just see when cards are at the 59th minute. So that means these cards sell after 30 seconds of being put up at 450 coins. There are also other ways to check this with Libertadores. For example, Bronze Libertadores are between 64 rated and lower. And even these cards are selling for the same price as well as the Sudamericanas when we check those. So as you can see here, the Sudamericanas unfortunately do not sell for anything. So we have two types of cards here. We have Bronze Rare and we have Libertadores. Long as they're a Bronze Rating or Bronze Rare as it is, they're going to sell for 450. With the Bronze Pack Method, the reason why it's so, so useful and overpowered is it's the most laziest way to make coins. So one pack costs you 750 coins. As long as you pack one rare in every pack, you will basically make a small loss, but you will grab in terms of club value increasing. So right now we got ourselves this left back. We already know from checking the prices that this card goes for 450. So we are looking to get 300 coins back. So we can discard all of these contracts and TFOs. And it gives 136. So we're a little bit short. We can see if any of these cards do sell, but we do kind of know that these Sudamericanas don't, but we can always check. So the way you check is just going all the way through. So I'm just going to skip it now so you don't watch me skipping pages upon pages. So after scrolling through, the cheapest card I can find is 350 coins. So we're going to list him up for 250. We sell him for 250, our other rare for 450, and this for 136. We've actually made profit on these cards without selling these. Now, these commons you don't want to sell unless they go for more than 200 coins. But by the looks of it, these cards don't. And the way we know is there's so many up for 150 to 200. So if we were to buy these off the market at the cheapest price, that'd be 300 coins. So we made a little bit of profit and we got two cards into our club that would have cost us 300 coins. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knight, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy. Select your payment method and don't forget to add code Nanic for 6% off on all orders. So at this minute in time, we've actually made a little bit of profit on this pack and we've got ourselves some equity into the club. The reason why you want to keep the bronze comments, which I'll show you after I open a couple more packs, is because we are going to basically put these into an upgrade that's going to get us underway. So we've got 96 coins plus 450 on this rare. We put them up for 450 here. So we are looking to make a little bit more. So we might be about 300 coins short on this. It's not a problem. We're going to check. So again, they're not worth anything. But again, I will mention... You buy all three of these cards for the cheapest price, that's 450. So it's still cheaper doing it this way than it is to just buy the bronzes off the off the actual market. So once you've done this, I normally like to do this every 10,000 coins. So let's say you've got a little bit of a low budget. 10,000 coins is your max price you're going to spend the whole time. Even if you're making your coins back, that's what I recommend doing. So right now we didn't get ourselves any bronze rest just to show you it isn't possible. And we can see here these cards are probably going to go for nothing. But again, if we were to buy these off the market, that's going to be around 150 each. So 600 coins altogether there because 300 for two, another 300 600. So this pack costs us 750. We basically lost 600 if we weren't to count these in. But again, we took the gamble. We spent a little bit, a little bit extra, like 10 coins per card more than we would off the market. But we took a gamble on getting them cheaper. So you can see here, bronze pack method isn't always going to pay out every single time. You're not going to get a rare every single time. You're not make, looking to make instant profit straight away. You're looking to build your club up. So, for example, this one goes for about 550 or 450 again. We can disc, uh, list him up for that. Discard everything else. We've got ourselves a duplicate comment. I just showed you how often I do this. We're just going to check the other comments in case they go for anything. So they don't. So we're going to quick sell these 96 coins. So right now we spent about 600 coins. We got back. So we've got 250 left to make. 150 left to make. So this card here. Let's say you're in the same position as me. You've got yourself a duplicate comment. You're going to go and want to put them in this SPC. And you are looking for the Prime Bronze Upgrade. If you don't know where it is, it's going to be under the Live tab. And you're going to have to scroll all the way through. But I've added it to my favorites. Now, the reason why this SPC is so good, especially if you're starting Bronze Pack Method, is you can put 11 Bronze Commons in and you'll get yourself five Rare Silvers back. And some of these Silvers are actually Team of the Season base cards. 
So what I mean by that is that they are basically, for example, there's a couple of MLS players in packs right now. Their actual base cards, if they won a team of the season, is a silver, which means they are packable from the rare silver packs. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get one, but there is a chance, of course. But this is going to help you build your club up in many, many ways. So again, we put in all of these players. We've accumulated all of these players from doing bronze pack method. If you were to do this from scratch, you're looking at around... 2,000 coins or just under to be able to complete the SPC by buying the cards or you can do bronze pack method and spend a third of that and basically get this done and you want to basically go through step by step so again we're going to go and open up our save pack that we've got which is going to be our five silver rare players pack got a duplicate item to deal with which is going to be this guy which you didn't put in but I'm going to put him up to our transfer list always make sure you put your duplicate card in and recycle around don't do the same mistake I just did luckily for me he was tradable so we can do that and again, we're going to open up this pack. We don't get ourselves a team of the season. Very unlucky. It is what it is. But these five cards are going to come in clutch. So there are several things you can do with these rares. So, for example, this one's untradeable. We are going to go exactly show you what to do. So there are a couple things. You can go and complete Silver Beast in the objective to get yourself some packs and some coins back. You can go and complete other SBCs that are out. But I recommend doing these icon SBCs. So, for example, with Roberto Carlos, we need Bronze Rare and Silver Rare. So we are going to go and put in our Silver Rares that we've just got here recently. And this is how you do all of these Icon SBCs at the start for very, very cheap. This also gives you a pack back, which is going to be tradable, which again is absolutely massive. And this is how you basically stack your coins up as you go away. So let me just go and complete this SBC. So we have completed it and we put in our duplicate, which was this right wing back. Some minute, it's going to give us two rare gold players back, which are tradable. I have managed to pack special cards in these. I have managed to pack walkouts and much more. But typically, whenever I do a video, we don't seem to get anything. But this is another way to get coins. So let's say we just get ourselves two really low rated golds. They sell for 1,200 coins together, more or less, of the minimum price, like we do now. That's going to be at least another... Bronze pack, you're going to be able to open for free. So we can check again this price. It looks like it's around 700. So we list them up for 700. 1400 is what we're going to get back. We are just short of getting ourselves two bronze packs back for free. Just from completing that and recycling around those bronze commons into silvers. So again, the best way to do bronze pack method is to go to classic pack, of course, buy a bronze pack. And you're looking to basically stock up your club with bronze commons for free. You're not looking to make profit on every single bronze pack. You're looking to make profit on each one. So again, that's going to be 450. We are then going to discard all of these here, giving us 136. So that's, again, 550, 586 coins, more or less. None of these will sell, but again, if we went to buy these off the market, we are looking at three, 450 coins. So again, we saved ourselves some money, and we took the gamble of making some profit on top of that. You will get yourself some Premier League or League Un or La Liga cards that are going to be worth more in terms of bronze rare. And that's where the real money comes in. But of course, you basically want to sit here for about an hour, 10,000 coins more or less. Just go through all of them. Like, for example, this guy here is a League Earn Bronze comment. You can see here his minimum price is going to be 600. So whatever happens, we've made a massive profit on this pack compared to the other packs that we opened. Because we sold him for 600. Him for 450, that's 1,050 back. I don't know if managers sell anymore. Doesn't look like they do. So we discard everything else. We got ourselves 225 coins back and then we've got ourselves this mls right back that we can use into our club so that pack alone makes up for the other ones that we lost a little bit of coins on so right now if i were to do some quick math we're probably i'd say about a thousand coins down max in terms of loss but what we have got in our club is two gold rares that we're going to make some coins on to make up for that loss and we're still going round and round and round we're barely losing any coins we've managed to finish off one of the upgrade spcs and the more you do it the more profitable it becomes, or profitable, shall I say, if I can say that word properly, it becomes. But you can see here, we're just going through, and unfortunately, there's none of these cards worth anything. So again, small profit on this one in terms of buying stuff and club value into our club. But it's that simple. And then just to show you that we go all the way back and we go to our sold things, you will see that we have sold seven things, and we've got six things still selling. And all of these are sold. Libertador is even common sold. We've obviously got the three cards that I listed at the start that I haven't sold yet. And we've got the two goals that we haven't sold. So we've got ourselves 1,400 to come back. So 2,000 coins to come back, which will put us back on the coins that we basically started on when you watched that video. But not only that, we completed off two SBCs with what we had in my club and doing the grind, which was the prime bronze upgrade or the prime silver upgrade. 
and then one of the rare icon SPCs. So the bronze, we did this one, and we did one of the icon SPCs underway. And you can go round and round and round. So what I highly recommend you do is just put something on in the background, maybe some music, watch a little bit of Netflix or something like that, or whatever you have, or YouTube, and just to sit here doing these. It is a little bit boring, and it does become a little bit repetitive. But in the long run, it's just going to help you out in so many ways. You're going to be able to start getting SPCs done. Your club's going to be nice and full for when we get upgrades and much more. But as always, if you have any questions or you don't understand something, please comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video has helped you, please help me out. Smash that like button because it helps out massively. It tells YouTube it's a good video. Subscribe if you want to see future videos like this and other things that I cover. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya.